At your tongue side. My name is Yazaria. This is a story of when I was a freshman in college before I was 20 years old. At the time, I was attending college from my parents' house and lived with my parents and grandma on my mother's side. Look, I bought a fancy hair accessory for my coming of age ceremony. Oh wow, it's so cute. Uh, what is this? Folded fabric flowers? Yeah, it's perfect for me, right? What kind of theme are you going for, Yazuria? Huh? I haven't decided anything other than my kimono. Oh, okay. I wasn't very good with folded fabric flowers. And then I'm gonna do this for my nails. It's not like I didn't like it as a hobby. I just had some bad memories associated with them. A very selfish and bad memory. I'm home. Oh, well, what a lovely young lady. Who are you? Oh, come on, Grandma. I'm your granddaughter, Yuzuria. My grandma, Yuri, was senile. Oh, welcome home, Yuzuria. She had completely forgotten about me, her granddaughter. Hey, Mom. She recognized my dad and Mom as helpers. There were a lot of little folded fabric flowers around the house. They were all made before my grandma became senile. I was about ten years old when I was gifted some of her little flowers from her. It was when she still lived out on the countryside alone. Here you go, Yasuria-chan. You can have this. What is this, Grandma? This is called a folded fabric flower. Grandma has been having so much fun making these recently. I made these hoping that she'd really enjoy them. Really? Thank you, Grandma! At the time, I really appreciated her thinking about me and making something for me like that. I fell in love with the hair ties, but... What? What the heck are those hair ties, Cesaria? A lot of my classmates... They look horrible on you! You're like a grandma! <laughs> what a loser! Mocked my hair ties. I should have just ignored those voices, but I... I see. These aren't cute. I'm not gonna put them on anymore. It's embarrassing. I ended up not putting on those hair ties. And then... Azuria chan I made new folded fabric flowers for you. If you want, you can... I don't need it! They're not cute at all, Grandma! I don't want to wear them because they're embarrassing to wear! Really? Sorry about that. I thought that you liked them, so I made them for you. What? whatever I don't want them anymore! Yuzuria chan I completely ignored my grandma's kindness. I regretted what I had said, thinking I'd gone too far. But it's not like we saw each other often. The more time went on without seeing her, the fewer chances I had to apologize to her. When I had moved up into middle school... So, yeah. Grandma's gonna be living with us starting today. Okay. Oh, wow. You are a lovely young lady. What is your name? Grandma had become very senile when I wasn't looking. At first, she remembered who I was quickly. Oh, welcome home, Yuzuria chan Hey, Grandma. She would quickly forget about me. I'm home. Oh, who are you? By the time I went to college, she was completely unable to remember who I was. If only someone had realized sooner that Grandma was becoming senile. No, maybe she started becoming senile this quickly because of the horrible thing that I told her. The more that she became senile, the worse I felt about the mistake I had made in the past. Whatever the case, no matter how I felt or what I said, I wasn't able to talk to her about it or apologize. And she never told me that she would give me any after that. Why would she? I was the one that pushed her away and said I didn't need it. Why would you want to give your lovely little works of arts to some bratty grandchild? Oh my, it's so cold. Summer's only just started. Mom, it's winter right now. It's not summer. Winter? Oh my, it's already winter? Oh my, oh dear. I have to hurry. She still actually makes folded fabric flowers. She isn't able to make anything as detailed as she did back when she was sent senile. But she starts working away, like she's on some kind of mission. I wonder why she keeps making them. But a few days later, I would come to learn why she was making those flowers. Alright, I'm gonna go to the HOA's meeting, so you take care of Grandma for the time being. Your father should be home in the afternoon. Okay, be careful. Grandma's in the middle of making these flowers, so I'll just focus on my studies in the living room. Oh, it's already 10? Grandma, do you want some tea? Well, thank you for being so generous. I'd love some tea. Okay, hang on just a second. Uh, darn, there's a flower here. How dare you! How could you step on the flower like that? Huh? No, I just didn't notice that it was on the ground. 
Don't make excuses. You owe me an apology. This is a very important thing to me. How dare you step on it? I'm sorry, but it's not on purpose. Give it back! Uh, uh, dang it! Why, though? I used to be able to make it so much better before. This isn't enough! This just isn't enough! Then how about you stop making them now? Uh? Oh my god. I can't believe what I just said. My grandma wasn't able to really keep her emotions in control after she became senile. That's why we were very careful about what we said and how we acted around her. What do I do? I ran away because I didn't know what to do, but she must care about this, right? I wonder if she's mad or is she upset? Huh? Was that the front door? No way! Grandma? You're kidding! Grandma's shoes are missing and the front door is open! No! I quickly ran out and started looking for Grandma. Grandma! Grandma! I looked out for over an hour and I wasn't able to find my grandma anywhere. <sighs> 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 Yasuria, did you find Grandma? No, I can't find her anywhere. Oh my god, it's my fault. It's because I didn't keep an eye on her. Calm down, Yasuria. That doesn't help anything right now. I'm going to talk to the police so you just go home and wait there in case she comes home. She might just find her way back somehow. Okay. I ended up going back to the house, but... Of course, my grandma was nowhere to be found. What do I do? I'm sure Grandma probably doesn't know how to get back home. It's so cold outside. Where could she have gone? Grandma? Huh? Oh, it's not Grandma. Oh, uh, sorry. Delivery for Yuzuriha-sama? Oh, thank you. A package to me? Who's sending me a package now? Susuji? I don't know who this is. The address is close to where Grandma used to live back then. Maybe a neighbor of Grandma's or something? What's in here? Huh? Is this... is this Grandma's? Nice to meet you, Yasuria-san. My name is Susuchi. I'm a friend of Yuri-san's. I'm sure you're probably surprised by the sudden delivery. I'm so sorry about that. These folded fabric flowers are all something that Yuri-san asked me to hang on to. She has made each and every one of these for you. A little while before she gave me these, she started becoming extremely forgetful and was complaining to me about it. She told me that she didn't want to just forget about it and get lost, so she gave it to me until the right time. And she said that she wanted me to deliver this to you right before your coming-of-age ceremony. Yuri-san was upset that she wasn't able to make something cute enough for her granddaughter to wear proudly. She looked at all kinds of books and worked hard on her fabric flowers to make something that's even cuter than what she made before. Maybe if you can like any of them, you will be able to wear it during your coming-of-age ceremony. Of course, she told me if you didn't like it, you didn't need to wear it either. But even if you don't wear it, I want you to at least accept these as a token of your grandmother really caring and loving you. And believe me when I say, she really did love you. I want you to continue taking good care of Yuri-san. Grandma had never despised me at all. <laughs> Grandma! She loved this sorry little granddaughter who couldn't apologize. I have to find her. I have to find her and I have to apologize to her. Yasuria! She was found! Grandma was found! Grandma? Oh, you were here? <laughs> Grandma! I'm so glad. She was wandering around the neighboring town when one of the police officers found her. You should be happy, Grandma. You're back home. Mm -hmm. This isn't my home, though, dear. Oh, wow, that is such a lovely folded fabric flower. Huh? May I see? Yes, it's made so carefully and delicately. I'm sure it's been made with tender care and love. Grandma, you made this, Grandma. And this? Ah, I knew it. It looks perfect on you, dear. Grandma! Grandma, I'm so sorry! I am so sorry! I love you! I love you too, Grandma! Yes, sir, yeah. That's how I was finally able to apologize to my grandma. I don't know why I wasn't able to apologize to her sooner, but whining about it won't do anything. I need to accept her love from now on and continue supporting her to the best of my abilities. I had made up my mind. A few years later... I wore those lovely flowers during my coming-of-age ceremony, and now, 
These flowers that I'm wearing now are lovely pieces of art that my grandma made for me. Unfortunately, she headed off on her journey to meet my grandpa two years ago. But I'm sure she's looking down on me now, watching over me. I'm going to continue to take care of all these lovely flowers that she made so carefully for me. To my lovely grandma, from Yazuria. A few years after my grandma passed away, I married Tokusa-san, the police officer that had found her. I continued to stay in touch with Sasuji-san, the woman who sent me those flowers, and they actually met up once again. Grandma hadn't remembered Sasuji-san, but they seemed to really enjoy chatting. I'm sure your grandma's watching down, smiling at you right now. I think so too. I hope that I can be like my grandma and love family from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'm sure you can. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。子供の頃は素直だからこそ思ったことをはっきり言ってしまいますよね。本人は可愛いと思っていても周りから可愛くないと言われてしまったら流されてしまったり、言ってしまった言葉を取り消せませんが